Okay, I'm going to start off now just with um, a part file from which um, I'm going to add a custom my property using the MC tool set file properties. Um, and then I'm going to map that into Vault. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to make changes from the file. And then that will then update the properties in Vault. Um, and obviously from Vault down back into the part file. Um, so at the moment we've got this on the MC tools tab, we've got a set file properties. This is a completely customize, cu customizable um, dialog box. Um, from which at the moment you can see I've already got a custom part description which I've already added into the set file properties. Um, I'm just going to add another one. So it's in the options icon, then there's a set file properties tab, and then I'm going to edit the property def.xml file. Just going to add another field in here, and we're going to call it new part number. It'll be a user defined um, property set. It'll be an edit property field, um, as I'm going to be adding sort of any uh, part number in that field, um, and then the label which will it will appear on the dialog box will be new part no, um, and I'll make that available in the dialog box for a part. Say um, you can make it a mandatory value. I'm just going to have it as a part, um, and it will be uppercase. And I could say apply that from the model to the drawing or vice versa. So if I click OK on that, and OK again, in the set file properties dialog box, that will create another field now um, in this dialog box from which if I put a value in here of say S100, apply that, OK. At the moment it's just a part. What I'm going to do is save this file and check it into Vault. So if I save it as a Custom my property. Click save. Now what I'm going to do is check that into Vault. If I go to check in, must be saved. Okay, and I'm going to check that into Vault. So that's now checked into Vault. That part with. Um, with a custom I property of S100. Okay, so if I then switch to Vault Explorer, if I refresh, it's in the same directory here. You see that custom I property. Um, and at the moment, it doesn't have in the user defined field the new part number I property. So I'm just going to add that now. If we go to Tools tab, Administration, Vault Settings, there's a Behaviors tab, and there's a Properties. These are all the out of the box um, I properties that that are within Vault. Um, I'm just now going to add a new one. It doesn't have to be the same name, but I'm just going to for this example, I'm just going to keep it the same so it's clear on the video. So it's going to be a new part number. Associations, I will associate it to base and engineering. This is the catalog um, values you'll see there. You've got property values here from which you could then overwrite the um, setup I had in the customer property for Inventor with the list values you see we had it as edit before. You can also enforce a list value, um, but like I say, because it's a part number, we'll keep it as a as an edit value field. If we switch to mapping. Select to add a mapping. The provider at the moment to other files will select that to be inventor. On the file property, on the clever part here, you've got import properties. So you don't have to check the file into Vault. You can just save the file um, and then import it from a file. But as I've checked it into Vault, I'm going to import from Vault. You can select the file. Um, so it's in designs. It's a custom my property. Now it brings through all the I properties from that part, and you'll see there should be a new part number. Yeah, and it's a custom field. That was the other part description that I already created before in that file. So we selected this new part number here. Click OK. And then you've got the map in here where you can have it bi directional um, from vault to file or file to vault. On this exercise, I'm just going to have it bi directional. And then this create field here. At the moment it's set to no, that allows you to map um, this 
iProperty purely just on this file alone into Vault. If you select yes on this, it'll apply this map into all files that you create. Um, so then you can then add this custom iProperty um, to other files in Vault. So on this exercise, I'm going to select yes on here. Click OK. We'll close this. Close that. So again, if I refresh that file, it still doesn't appear in this list. Um, to make it appear, if we go to this drop down here on the top right, you've got edit properties, edit selected properties. If we go to edit properties, it doesn't appear in here. Um, what we can do is right click, go to customize view, or you've got select properties, um, select fields, and there'll be a new part number field available here. There we are. Let me click to add that. Okay. Close. And you'll see there it's already picking up on that field that we already created in Inventor. Um, so it's quite picking up as S100. If we click OK, close, refresh the file. Doesn't appear in there, but once we make an edit to that, so say if I make this um, S200, click OK. It says there it's successfully made the changes and from the original value to the new value, I click close. And once I then go into here now, it appears in that list as a user defined um, I property. So I've now made a change to that file in Vault um, and I want that to now update the file when I open it in Inventor. Um, so to do that, if I do a get on this file, in fact, I, I, I'll do a get, select OK. And then if I, I've already got this file open and back in Inventor. So I've got a, a latest copy of that in my local workspace. If I right click on there and go to iProperties, it will come up with this dialog box here. It says the properties um, in the working folder has been updated outside the current session. Do you want to keep these changes? Um, so I select yes and next I want to keep those changes. If I then go to the custom tab, you'll see then it's updated that file. So it's updated the file with the um, value that we've written from Vault. If I then make a change to this, so I could change it in that custom field in here, or if I go back to the MC tools again, the set file properties, if I then make a change to this and just call it S300, it says it's not checked out, do you want to check it out? If I say yes, click OK. So if I then save that, Save that and check that back in. Okay. If I then switch back to Vault again, you see previously it was on S200. If I refresh this list, bring that down again, you see that's now changed to S300. So it's now writing back from the inventor file into Vault.